Hello, everybody. I'm back. I apologize. It's been a while since I've been on. It's getting close to 3 a.m. on Thursday morning and just having a problem sleeping, so I figured I'd go ahead and do another vlog. Um, back on August uh, 24th, my daughter had her baby. So, yes, I am a grandpa. Yay! I, I really, I am so excited. It, it's been killing me. Uh, she's in NICU, and I haven't been able to hold her. Uh, but she's absolutely gorgeous. She was born at 28 weeks and 5 days, so roughly 11 weeks early. Um, she has had no major complications at all, no issues. She has been just growing and doing absolutely wonderful. So hopefully, the earliest that she could come home is the 35-week mark, um, which would be October 7th. But they always tell you plan on them coming home on their due date, which would actually be November 14th. Um, we're really crossing our fingers and hoping for October. Um, but tonight, at the hospital, I go up there every night, I got to hold her. Oh my God, it brought back so many memories of holding my kids whenever they were little. Just the amount of love that you that you feel in your heart for them, and it's just, you just can't describe it. And if you're a parent, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and if you're a grandparent, then I hope you know this feeling as well, uh, whenever you get to hold your grandbaby for the first time. But it was even more special because she's just been laying in that incubator since August. Now, don't get me wrong, mom and dad have got to hold her, and they've done the skin on skin, what they call kangarooing, but grandpa don't get to hold her. Well, tonight was the first time. And I've been wanting to do a vlog for a while, and tonight while I was holding her, it just really hit. Uh, this is a good time to do this vlog. And I know I'm going to piss some people off, and I don't care. Um, I never care if I piss people off. I know a lot of you aren't going to agree. I know a lot of you are going to agree to an extent with me. Um, but this is my vlog. If you want to say something, <laughs> go make your own. So I want to talk about abortion. Okay? So 28 weeks and 5 days. I don't know what the current laws are. I don't care what the current laws are. Um, to me, it's a moral issue, not a law issue. Um, but how in the hell, how on God's green earth can somebody sit there and tell me that this is not a living being thing until it comes out of the mom, that it has no rights, that you can just kill it? You can literally just suck it out of that mom's body and throw it away as medical waste. What the hell? I mean, come on. And I will tell you now that I am very much pro-life. Um, I believe that Mariana Grace, that's her name, I believe that she was alive and that she was a human the moment of conception. The very moment that that sperm swam into that egg, she was a person. And moms, I realize I'm probably going to catch a lot of flack for this for anybody that watches it. Whenever you spread your legs and had even the possibility of getting pregnant, and you did, that body is no longer yours. I'm sorry, but you have a shared body, and that baby that is inside of you has just as much rights as what you have. And my personal opinion, you don't like it, go make your own damn blog and rebuke me. I don't care, but it disgusts me to think of how many people can 
take my little baby Mariana Grace, my little granddaughter, and say that she's not a person, that she doesn't have rights, that it's okay to abort her. I don't get it. How sick of a person do you have to be? You know, regardless if you wanted that baby or not, if it was planned or not, God gave that baby to you for a reason. And that baby is very much alive from the very moment of conception. It doesn't matter if you can fill it or not. It's there. It's alive. It's growing. And it turns in to what I held in my arms tonight that, you know, probably 20 years ago, she probably wouldn't have survived because she was too early. Medical advancements have came along, and I got to sit there and hold my granddaughter, my very first grandbaby. And I got to sit there and look at her and just think, how sick does somebody have to be to just dispose of this? It just literally disgusts me to no end. That's my vlog for tonight. If you like it, please share it. Otherwise, we'll catch you all next time. Thanks.